Well, this is perhaps one of the most stressful summer breaks for both teachers and students filled with uncertainty about the fall. No doubt about it. This morning, Matt returns to his alma mater to bring us a unique look at how the school is learning, leaning, I should say, on its past to try to carry it forward. Franklin College has been around here in Johnson County since 1834 and like all schools across the country, it's trying to decide what to do for the fall. So many traditions here, including painting the Benjamin Franklin statue, may or may not continue in person for the fall. And in a way, with all the challenges going on right now, it's a bit of history repeating itself from 35 years ago. The worst fire in Franklin College history. Huge flames destroy a dorm in March of 1985, and then... Look how fast that steeple caught back on fire. Another accidental fire the very next month heavily damages the buildings known as Old Main. You had two giant buildings that were basically rubble. Kerry Prather started here in 1982 as a men's basketball coach and helped put the college back together. And he's doing it once again, but with a title he never expected, president. <laughs> Not in my wildest dreams, but I have learned to expect the unexpected. I've always been an administrator at the same time, so I worked in student affairs, I worked in admissions. His new chapter started in January after the arrest of Thomas Minor on child enticement charges. Just a disappointment to everybody. Repairing the college's image suddenly switched to the COVID-19 crisis, all in his first 90 days. The campus of roughly 900 students has set quiet since spring break, awaiting what the fall will bring. We have a worst case scenario. We have a couple of middle of the road scenarios. We can tweak the academic calendar. New curriculum, including eSports, is part of the plan this fall. Well, there are classes and midterms that must be taken and completed. Because just like in 1985, life must go on. In fact, enrollment is already up and so are spirits. The students are amazingly resilient and, and amazingly protective of the place. So I think all of that bodes well for We'll get through this. A lot is riding on homecoming this year because that may also include the graduation ceremonies for the class of 2020. Again, everything is contingent upon what happens with COVID-19.